AIS net locators. I use them as personal beacons. They range from about $80 New Zealand to $150. They're designed to show where a net or other object may have been left as a warning to shipping. That's really useful if shipping has AIS receivers, which in my lake situation is not really the case. Pretty much none of the boats here are running AIS. I set up an AIS receiving station for the lake and discovered that only our Coast Guard boat was transmitting. Occasionally a visiting regional harbour master boat would pop up. I have seen one or two private boats from time to time too. The integrity of my receiving station subscription to the traffic websites kept being questioned by long periods of inactivity. Not because the station was down, it's just that there weren't any boats going past. So I decided to put an AIS net locator on my moored sailboat, which would keep the receiving station alive. The first one I got was an HAB130, which I chose because it advertised that it included the programming cable and software to be able to put in the boat name and MMSI number. I set it up to its maximum 10 minute interval to conserve batteries, and it got about a month on a charge. However, over winter, I'm not visiting the boat very often, and having to go out and pick up the unit to recharge it overnight, then return it, has proved onerous. It specifically states not to run while on the charger, so I was enticed by the solution of a solar powered net locator, which wouldn't require recharging. I looked around and found one that I should have known better than to buy. I didn't get replies to pre-purchase inquiries and had to use translated pages to get the details of it. Nevertheless, I ended up buying it to my regret. It's kind of okay, but I can't program it. The supplier promised to send me the software to do so, but never has. The generic RS-109 software that came with the HAB-130 won't talk to it even though the cable connections are suitable. So it works but it has a display name that isn't useful. It does have one feature that lets it light up at night flashing either red or green during darkness which may find a way of getting me to warm to it but basically no not for me. Anyway I was more careful about investigating the next purchase. I inquired about the cable and programmability for my next selection. The company, Sandamarine, was immediately communicative with good information and commitment. I was impressed enough to order immediately. Their shipment turned up much quicker than they anticipated and included the promised dedicated cable. I was able to download the software from their website but had to request an account which they should probably have just sent to me directly. However, it got processed straight away, so no real issue. Their program was much easier to use than the RS 10X, but doesn't let you include the call sign of the ship, just vessel name and MMSI number. Plus, you can add in the boat size. Anyway, the unit is well made and was easy to set up and start. It uses a magnetic switch to turn it on and off, but I doubt I'll be turning it off once it's bound to my mast. So now my boat is happily pinging away to my AIS receiver, which is happily feeding the web with details to prove that it is there. I can check my boat location from anywhere in the world, if I so desire, and will be able to quickly track it should it ever break its mooring again in the future. Plus, as a moored boat, it should never be run into by a passing vessel with AIS, as their AIS proximity alarm would go off if they ever get AIS equipped boats around here that is.